I'm Gemma Clues. I'm 29 years old. I'm from Manchester. I'm a professional golfer on the Ladies European Tour. All right, Gemma, how are you? I'm really good, thank you. Good. Um, so why have you decided to join Defy as your agency? I, I really like the vision of the company. Um, I met with Harry and Deck um, in last year and just really liked them as people, um, their vision on how things are going to work going forward um, and just, yeah, just liked everything about it really. And how excited are you for your next step on the LET? I'm really excited. Um, I've played Access for a couple of years now. Um, so looking forward to playing week in, week out on the LET. I've played a few events before in the past, um, but to do it week in, week out, I'm really looking forward to it. Can't wait to start. What would you say <laughs> is your favourite course to play on? Uh, my favourite course is tough. I played one last year that could take top spot. Mm -hmm. um, it was Valderrama in Spain. Um, that was just unbelievable. Um, but I also played Trump International in Aberdeen last year, mm -hmm. which was just out of this world. I really enjoyed it. Really was it sunny? Fun. We actually had a really nice day. It was in October, so the weather wasn't great. It was really windy. Mm. But it was beautiful, blue sky. Couldn't couldn't have got a better day for it, really. So made it even better. What got you started in golf? Uh, as a as a youngster, I was always just interested in all different sports. So played a lot of different sports when I was young. Um, my mum used to play golf when she was younger. Um, her and my nana just took me down to the driving range. Did like the odd bit of like junior coaching. Then got involved in the Cheshire Junior beginners sort of thing mm -hmm. and then it just went from there really. Started playing county golf pretty quick and just really enjoyed it. How old were you when you first started? When I first started I was 11. Oh wow, yeah. so it's been a while. Yeah, <laughs> it has been a while. <laughs> and what would you say has been your favourite moment in your career so far? Probably my win in Denmark last year because I'd knocked on the door quite a lot the year before, mm -hmm. just couldn't quite get over the line and then um, came from like five shots behind, won in a playoff. Um, that felt felt really good. So I'd, I would probably go Denmark last year. What are some of your goals for this season of 2024? So uh, my main one is to finish top 70 order of merit um, on the LET, regain status for 2025. Um, I also have a couple of extra little ones, sort of, uh, sort of like two top 10 finishes and qualify for the Women's Open, which is played at St Andrews. I think that'd be pretty cool to play in. Mm -hmm. So that's a, that's a goal of mine as well. Finally, what are your thoughts on the progression of women's golf? I think the way it's going is incredible. Um, the improvement in in it all round, like it's getting bigger, bigger, better events. Mm -hmm. um, more women are playing golf, more youngsters are taking it up. Um, I think it's just really good, everything that no matter how small the golf club is, the improvement in getting women into golf is fantastic. Like I see it at the, the golf course I started playing at and grew up at. Um, they do every year, they do like a ladies get into golf thing. And mm -hmm. the, uh, last year when they did it, they filled it. They had something like 60 people turn up on the day oh, and wow. they had like 20 people join on the day. Yeah, Like it was just really good. And like clubs doing things like that, I think is really good. And companies getting involved and making it just getting the word out there and showing showing how talented women pro golfers are really i think it's just really good it's getting better and what stood out to you about defy uh the biggest thing is how they're going to help you guys are going to help me with all different aspects so um getting like all down to like social media content helping me with travel um guidance on schedule planning and things like that um but also sort of getting things done and preparing for in the future when golf finishes if I want to stop playing golf and mm -hmm. go down a different route and sort of building things up to get into something different or still down the golf route but maybe maybe something that isn't playing mm -hmm. um, I think you guys could definitely help me and guide me in the right way mm -hmm. that way and I, that really attracted me to you guys. Perfect. We're excited to have you on board. Thank you. <laughs>